state. It's different from the trigger law that's on hold as a judge decides if it violates the Constitution. As new specialist Lauren Steinbrecher reports, this law took effect suddenly and even to the surprise of the lawmaker who sponsored it. Right, this bill was passed in 2019, but the law never took effect. With the Dobbs decision last week and Utah's trigger law not yet taking effect, this means that abortion rules in Utah are again changing. As the state capitol becomes the center of the state's abortion debate, what happened here three years ago is suddenly at the forefront. I knew it might happen. But it seemed a remote possibility. An abortion law representative Cheryl Acton worked to pass in 2019, held up in litigation since then. She found out is now the law because SB 174 is on hold. Someone uh, texted me and said they thought that my law might be, you know, the law of the land right now. And I was like, no, it, there's still, it's been enjoined. It's, it's still not on the table. And then I learned that it had been dismissed. So I was surprised. HB 136 prohibits elective abortion after 18 weeks instead of the state's prior 22, with six exceptions, rape, incest, life of the mother, permanent impairment of the mother, fatal fetal defect, and severe brain abnormality. Violation of that law can result in criminal felony charges. A surprise announcement that law professor Tennille Brown. It doesn't help provide legitimacy for the courts as a rule of law when it looks like it's volleying back and forth. Says may complicate the process for women and providers who need to keep track of what's legal moment by moment. This is a very difficult personal decision and so not knowing whether you are going to be able to have a procedure or not, whether it's legal or not, whether your provider even knows whether it is legal or not, um, that's very destabilizing for the rule of law. Acton doesn't expect her law to to be in place for that long before things could change again. Planned Parenthood Association of Utah released a statement tonight saying they will continue to provide abortion care according to the law. The organization Pro-Life Utah said in a statement they are grateful the 18-week ban is now in effect. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Lauren, thank you.